Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. To fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry, thou heavenly gift of God most high, thou font of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above, and sweet anointing from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So it's good to be back uh, doing Masses here at St. Mary's. Uh, Welcome to all of you. Welcome to our viewers, our parishioners, and people all around the world. Uh, Thank you also to all of you for your prayers. As many of you know, my dad uh, passed on to eternal life a few days ago, uh, last Saturday, May 23rd. And so thank you so much for for your prayers and words of, of, of consolation. Let's open our hearts to the Lord. He loves us. He's with us. Let's acknowledge our sins and receive his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since Paul had appealed to the emperor, Festus sent Paul to Rome. When he came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the local leaders of the Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, yet I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. When they had examined me, the Romans wanted to release me because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to the emperor, even though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you since it is for the sake of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. He lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and 
without hindrance. The word of the Lord. The psalm response. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his gaze examines human beings. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked. And his soul hates the lover of violence. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord says, I will send you the Spirit of truth, who will lead you to the whole truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After he was raised from the dead, Jesus appeared to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias and indicated the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to Peter, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. So our Lord Jesus tells Peter what kind of death he will die, what kind of death he will die that will glorify God. And it's interesting because Peter's kind of first response is, he sees John, the beloved disciple, he says, well, what about him? And the Lord says to him, he, he, he's not your concern, you follow me. And it's a basic principle in the spiritual life. When I was taking driver's ed as, a, as a, I guess, a 16-year-old, one of the things we were taught is always look in the direction Um, that you want to go. So for example, if there's a corner and you're worried about the cliff, don't look at the cliff. 
Look, look to where you want to go and you'll, you'll go safely. And it's also a truth in skateboarding. In skateboarding, if there's an obstacle or something, they always say, you, you'll follow your eyes. So don't look at what frightens you. Don't look at what distracts you. Look to where you want to go. And we, of course, want to, to, uh, to, to go to the kingdom. We want to go to Jesus, so our eyes need to be fixed on Jesus. And Peter, of course, was taught that lesson already when he was walking on water. Everything was fine until he noticed the waves, how big they were, how frightening they were, and then he began to sink. And so to us, the Lord has given each one of us a mission. And we need to keep our eyes fixed, focused on the Lord Jesus and not be distracted by what other people are doing. I think it was St. Jose Maria Escriva. He said, listen, when you're journeying through life, and he's speaking to, to missionaries. He founded Opus Dei, a, a, a community of people who were uh, intent on building the kingdom of God. He says, listen, if you come across other people who are building the kingdom of God, maybe in a way that you're not building the kingdom of God, maybe with a different focus or a different emphasis, he said, don't get distracted by them. Give praise to God for what he's doing in and through them, and then you continue with your mission, the mission you've been given by God. And so each one of us needs to be reminded, you know, by the Lord Jesus, you follow me. You keep your eyes on me. Don't get distracted by what other people are doing. Don't get distracted by things that are frightening or worrisome. Keep your eyes on me, and everything will be okay. Jesus, who himself came to people as a servant in obedience to his Father, wants us to keep God's interests above all things. That the leaders of the church may be true servants acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his apostles, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may be faithful to their commitments and fulfill their duties in the spirit of love and service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who experience difficulties may receive strength from the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may realize that their suffering, undertaken in union with Christ, can be turned into blessing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace of God's eternal home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the intention of today's Mass, for the repose of the soul of Richard Cobb, offered by Linda Cobb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son placed your interest above all else, even to the extent of suffering for mankind. Grant that we may always honor him by making him most important in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over all the earth. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over all the earth. May he live in the hearts of all nations, that they be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and wars. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, Send now your spirit over all the earth. May the Lady of all nations, Blessed Virgin Mary, Be our advocate, so let it be. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over all the earth. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna high in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, our Bishop, Bishop Guy, Bishop Marcel, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Our new stay, quit all is peccat am wundi, miserere nobis. Our new stay, quit all is peccat am wundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccat am undi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not not worthy worthy that you should should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, we come to you in this upper room to wait and watch and pray. For we are your church and we need rebirth. Send forth your marvels in our day. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. 
Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Heavenly Father, pour out your abundant blessing upon your children. Heavenly Father, pour out the fullness of your Spirit upon your children as we await the coming of your Spirit. Heavenly Father, fill us with your wonderful love and mercy. Heavenly Father, let your healing touch come to each one of your children who receives your love and mercy now. Heavenly Father, grant your children their heart's desires and give us your peace. And the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise be to Thee, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, with them one. And may the Son on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow. The gifts that from the Spirit flow.